Hey guys, so today's project, I'm going to be making some new feet for my 3D printer. I have been using the packing material that came with it just to dampen some vibrations underneath the printer, but it doesn't look the best. So I'm going to design some, some new feet using some pretty common things that you might find around your house and print some pieces to make it work. Let's get going. So for this project, you're going to need some rubber bouncy balls and some nuts and bolts. We're also going to be 3D printing four holders that will hold the bouncy ball and the bolt. Because I'm in the United States, standard hardware is always a lot cheaper. If you're somewhere that uses metric hardware, I've designed this file to use both either a six millimeter bolt or a quarter by 20 bolt. These are your standard quarter by 20, um, but I'll have two different files, one for the standard and one for the metric. So I use Kira for my slicing software. So just opening the 3D model file here. And you'll want to print this so the smaller diameter piece is actually touching the print bed. So I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees. And just to save myself from doing multiple prints, I'm going to print all four of these at the same time. So I'll move this one over a little bit on the print bed and right click on it and multiply object. I want three copies. And there we go. Now. I run my printer with OctoPrint on a Raspberry Pi and so I'm just saving the G-code and I will upload it to my Raspberry Pi. And here I'm just loading that G-code file and using the G-code viewer and this is just to look at all the layers to make sure that everything looks like it's where it's supposed to be. You don't have any layers that are completely solid or anything out of the ordinary. Always a good idea to check before you start printing. And then I'll just hit print and let it go. There we go. Got four pieces. Got some nuts and bolts. And a couple balls. Oh, there they go. We do one of each color. Unfortunately, this pack only had three of each color, so. Let's see. Let's do two orange and two yellow. Um, you may also need a hammer, hello, a socket, and possibly a punch. Depending on the tolerances of your printer, start off with the bolts. Um, so you can see, maybe, the hex down there. The hex is pretty snug on these. So 
They may go in pretty easy or they may not. So the bolt's fitted. And now we can just slide a ball in. Well, I didn't need any of that. There we go. Got feet. Rubber feet. Okay, so here's the packing material I was talking about. It's been really nice um, as far as holding snugly. I did have to cut access for the USB cord and then the power cord down here. So, it's not perfect, but it just doesn't look the best. It's uniform, so it at least looks okay, but I'm going to give this a shot. come on there now these these feet were probably okay but I plan on buying a heated bed for this in which case I'll need to use a different power supply that plugs in right here um, there's really no access holes through the case I don't really want to drill holes in it so I'm, I'll feed those underneath, and this will allow room for those wires. Yeah. There we go. Um, got a little bit of flex. Hopefully not too much flex. See how it does a print. So I've got it running at about 200% speed right now, which ends up really lowering the quality of the print. But I just wanted to see if the fast changes would make this really start rocking. Um, so far it seems to be handling it pretty good. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. I'll be sure to put the links to the files down in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.